It's Friday, the 11th of January, 1308, and that means it's time for one thing and one thing only. It's time for today's Bisquiz and Biscuit Review with me. It's your host, E. Lewis. And I'm joined by a very, very special um, guest today. Uh, it is... The one, the only. Actually, there could be lots of people called William Flanagan in the world. There are. I've been contacted by them. How many wills? I have. Uh, a few years ago, I got contacted by Will Flanagan. Someone trying to do like a Dave Gorman. I'm trying to thing. find the Will Flanagan. Oh, shut up. Boring, innit? He was friendly. Yeah, but everyone's done that. That's been done before. Um, uh, <laughs> Sorry, Will Flanagan no, out no there. More, <laughs> no more jokes. Hello been, again been, to some of the people. Been out there. done. Hello again to. Wait, hold on. I've just noticed something there. I know that a lot of them were watching you on your stream earlier. They might have been. Uh, but it, it is nice to see Jester D, Jack Little, Millstone Barn, Edelweiss, <laughs> Mem Curtains, Baldy, Wookie, Commander NSR2. Honestly, these names just genuinely make me smile at this point. Yeah. Uh, Sir Calder, Alec John Turner, Multi 71, and Millstone Barn. Oh, the best ones are right here. Hey, thank you. Just a D, great stream, Will. Many thanks. Thank you. This stream, right? Uh, yes, I believe from the, yeah. uh, the first five minutes of this show mm -hmm. that I've been uh, involved mm -hmm. in has been great. It's been fantastic. Yeah. So today on the on the biscuit, we've got a biscuit ready to be reviewed. It sounds like this. Mm. You can't see what that is until around about quarter to the hour, to the nine hour. Um, but we have, uh, yeah, we, that's going to be fun, I think. It's going to be a good one. Um, but it is a very special quiz today because, well, I don't know, there's a little guy called Jack Little and he's in the chat. And at the end of every um, uh, BIS quiz, we get everyone to check, to, to, to vote on what they think the next quiz should be in the following week. Yeah. Right? And uh, Jack Little always says, he always says, Ed's childhood is a joke. <laughs> 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 but um, Jack Little, this time, he's got, to, the, his wish has become true. So I thought, well, you can't quiz against me because I know all the answers. Yeah, that would you be know silly. your childhood. <laughs> 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 um, but we thought hmm. we'd bring in this guy here. Uh, Will Flanagan, who knows a little bit about me, but may learn a thing or two. Mm. Uh, but we need ourselves a master of ceremonies, the master of um, uh, sand castle building. Oh. I said that. Yeah, well, I'm... you said it again. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to fill in. I thought you'd forgotten what you he's said. He's the master of ceremonies. He's the master of ceremonies. He's the master of <laughs> castle building, and, and he's that. the master of ceremonies. <laughs> yeah. He's the master of all of those things. Um, so today's special. We don't have one, <laughs> but I was wondering if you guys had any suggestions. In the meantime, let's just do this. We can be today's special. I think. Whoa. Hopefully we won't be making double noise. Are we making double noise? Double noise. Double noise. It's like double speak from double. 1984. Oh. No, that's not double speak. Oh, also in front of my eyes <laughs> become us. That's weird. How about imagine if this happened? Imagine if this happened. <laughs> My oh, it's eye, one of those streams. My eyes <laughs> became no, right our, back. our faces. Oh my god! That's terrifying. It, it is a nightmare. We're inside the eye, We're creeping out, going, hello. Um, yeah, it's one of those streams. Let's go, let's pull that behind us, right? So we're the specials today. Um, can it, it, we haven't, Just our heads. I'm hoping that we haven't doubled up. I don't think we have. That is horrifying. It is. I'm very sorry, Edelweiss. Uh, so we do have, of course, uh, a very special guest coming up, and we have around about 38 people watching, so it is time, I think, to kick things off with the quiz. But of course, as usual, we need our Master of Ceremonies. The Master of Ceremonies, the Master of Sandcastle Master of Ceremonies. It is, well, let's see if we can hear him. Can, let, just concentrate really hard, Will. Hello? Uh, what are you doing? We're concentrating. Yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? And we need we need to concentrate harder again to get to the visualization. But imagine what you what, imagine if you will, Will, 
what you what a, a perfect outfit for today would be. <laughs> birthday suit. Birthday suit. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we got it. We got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, it's here. Oh, W and L. Wow, look at you. Look at that. What's going on? I, I, I dressed for the occasion. You do yes. look very Good. smart today, sir. I went gathering today and I thought, you know, that I would uh, play the role. Any reason why? Oh, okay. Well, uh, no, no, to be we, honest... We won't, no, we won't. We don't have to go into any more further details about that. You look <laughs> great. That's all I we was need to usher, know. I was an usher at a funeral. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. But... Right. I've, I've ushered myself home now, and uh, it's time to do a quiz. You look like a Tory politician. <laughs> right. I'd vote, no, I'm alive. I'd I'm vote alive. for you. <laughs> if, you were, if you were a politician, I'd vote for you. Ah, look at okay, that. Well, look at you. you look so down to earth with your beard. You look like, um, <laughs> I mean, Jerry Corbyn's got a beard. It's, That's yeah. true. That's true. This is not a politics show. It's just a fact. He, he's got a beard. I, that's all I've got to say. Uh, I have a beard, you have a beard, yes. I have beards all round, yes. Great. Um, <laughs> okay. Right, right, so... Chester, do you have beards? Yes. Pardon? I often, wonder, I often wonder when I see the chat stream's names whether these people are bearded or not. Okay. Who give, has a beard? Give us some examples. Give us some... What do you think about Jester D? Jester D, uh, a goatee. Oh. Ooh. What about uh, Jack Little? No, not old enough yet to grow one. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think you'll like that. Uh, what about one more, one more, one more? Ooh. What about... Um... Oh, come on, I was hoping that she'd be in here. Oh, I can't give it away, though. Sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no beard. Wow. Uh, A long, copious, yes, uh, ZZ Top type. Yes. What about Revian? Ah. Huh? Hang on. Wispy. Oh, that's, that's, that's very Wispy. mean of you to say. <laughs> like, I see Wispy as a sort of negative thing. But I like it. What about Will Flanagan? Uh, I can see him. Oh. I see his beard. Yeah. His, beard, beard. his beard, oh. yes. Okay, great. Well, Boy I think beard. there's enough people here to begin today's quiz. But today's quiz is a slightly different quiz. It's just slightly different today, isn't it? So what what is today's quiz all about? Set us up with the rules. Take it away, W N L. Well, for several for several years, of course, uh, you know, Jack Little has been saying we we must do a round on your childhood, and we laugh it off. But today we're actually doing it. <laughs> Great. Now now Ed's Ed's childhood wasn't without incident, so um, <laughs> it's it's a slightly longer quiz. We have sixteen questions, mm -hmm. and as you said before, we're going to have Will actually do the quizzing on your side because. As much as you're old and venerable, uh, I think you can probably still remember your childhood, so we can't about. have you quizzing. Yeah. I'm and the chat really stream always beats you see. anyway. Yes. Right. So, yeah, the chat stream, what I will do is I will ask a question, and you put down your answer, and I will take the first three. Okay, um, and if we have consensus on the first three, then that will be your answer. If I don't have consensus, then it'll just be the first answer that I got from you. Now, it is all multiple guess. I'm going to give you the correct answer, but I'll give you two incorrect answers. <laughs> okay, I'm you have to make the decision. Very nervous as to what people are going to think about me. This is going to be very interesting. All right. And uh, after the questions, we can ask uh, Edward for some more detail. Yes. So, so I'm, 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 I've got the. Yeah, I can still see the chat. Yeah. Will, I can't see well, it. You can see it, but you. I can see it. I'm not to, going you'd to. You have to look carefully. Now, do I give my answer after the chat have given their answer? Yeah. So you wait until WNL okay. has said. I have their answer, and then you're able to give your answer. Very well. Answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And chat stream, chat stream, for the first chat time ever stream. in our quiz. Chat, chat stream. stream. Chat stream. Chatters, chatters, for the first time ever in, in a quiz here, a biz quiz, can I say you can Google to your heart's content? Because <laughs> <laughs> you'll never find the answers. That's amazing. Well, you haven't seen that fan site on you. Uh, oh, that's true. <laughs> Yes, but neither have I. <laughs> okay. I think, Are we I think that you're very likely to get... You're likely to get equal here, I think. Mm. I think. Uh, because I think, I think I've told enough stories over the last three years for a few people to know a couple of things, and I think I've told enough stories to you over the last year, and also we're friends, I suppose. Yeah. We said it here. You heard it here first, guys. We're finally friends. That's no, not true. We've been friends for a while. <laughs> We're sitting as far away as possibly can on this on the stream today. That's nice. Look at that. Hello. Ha, ha, ha. Oh. 
<laughs> right, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, here we go. Hi Question everyone, number by the way. This is going to be fun because I'm going to be able to see what everyone is shall we? Shall we stick with letters A, B, C? That would be far easier, wouldn't it? Instead of writing out the answers because sometimes they can be long paragraphs of explanation. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll label them A, B, C, the answers, and then you can put A, B, C down in the chat stream. Okay, here we go. Question number one. Edward's first comfort blanket. Was it called A, blanky, B, shoo shoo? <laughs> Sorry, I can't laugh, can I? Sheet. Was it called A, blanky, B, shoo shoo, or C, sheet? Your answers, please. Oh. <laughs> People, listen a bit. <laughs> Don't you look. I, yeah, have, look. I have their answer. Got my answer. Right, you got it. He's got, got my answer. Yeah, he's got his answer. Okay. Uh, we'll have you your answer. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get? Can I say it? Yeah. You can say it now. I have their answer. B. You're going with B. I'm going with Shushu. B. Uh, I, I broke that one. <laughs> I, I guessed on the first. laugh, but it sounds like an Ed thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> so. What do you Shushu. mean? How dare you? The, the chatters also thought it was B, Shoo Shoo, and you are both absolutely incorrect. Hey, oh, he got you. Yeah, he got you. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he called his first blanket Sheet. Wow. Sheet. Very inventive. Oh. Sheet. Uh, sheet. This is my sheet. I was, this is my blanket, which is a I sheet. Was, how yeah, old was true. I? How old was I then? I don't know. Uh, old enough to say sheet, but uh, yeah, yeah, that was about it. I was trying to say something else. <laughs> Last year. <laughs> we were into metaphysics, you know. Uh, then sheet okay. mysteriously disappeared, and no one could ever find sheet. Yeah. yeah. Where did sheet go? I don't know. If I knew, then, well, yes, I would be hiding it from you, and it would be a terrible, guilty secret. Mm. Uh, I don't know, genuinely. Okay. Fine. Question number two. It's it's poised here. The quiz has, has started off with a fantastic zero points apiece. <laughs> it's going number well. two. I knew number this two. round good. Well done, Jack Little. Bedtime was not bedtime without a present that Edward's American Uncle Jim gave him when he was only three years old. Was it A, a stuffed caveman figure, B, a fluffy stuffed bunny, or C, Zippy from Rainbow? Bedtime wasn't bedtime. Without a present that Edward's it American Uncle Jim gave him when he was only three years old, was it A, a stuffed caveman figure, B, a stuffed fluffy bunny, or C, Zippy from Rainbow? I don't know why it's funny when you say Zippy from Rainbow. It doesn't mean anything. It's just funny. Zippy from Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Zippy from Rainbow. All right, we've got some answers coming in. Will, what are you thinking? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Will. Wow. Will. Right. They're not unanimous, but, no, uh, no. But, but but I do have consensus out of the first three. Mm. So, Will, when you're ready. A, the caveman. You're saying A, a yeah. stuffed caveman figure. A stuffed figure. caveman. A stuffed caveman figure. Uh, they also said A. And this time, you're both absolutely correct. Yes. yes. It was a stuffed... Edward, what was his name? His, his name is... is... Mucky. Is, excuse me. Oh, yeah, let me yeah. see if I can find a picture of Mucky. I've met Mucky. Mucky. Have you met you yeah, Mucky? Met, I've met. Oh, that's that's That cheap. one I knew. That one I knew Great. categorically. I love Mucky. Where is he? Let's see if I've got a picture of him to show. You carry on doing the quiz while I've looked. I'll carry on doing the quiz. Uh, you search the archives. Yeah. Mm. So, okay. Question number three. Here we go. Question number three. Let's. It's it's one apiece. We need to sort of get someone ahead here. Number three. When a small child, Ed was fairly finicky about his food, mm. which was limited primarily to what? Yes. A, boiled potatoes, B, plain pasta, or C, sugar puffs? He was fairly finicky about his food, which was limited primarily to what when he was a young child? Was it A, a boiled question. potatoes, B, plain pasta, or C, sugar puffs? I have their answer. I have my answer. I believe that it's B. You believe that it's B? Yeah, Plain B. Pasta? Yeah. There's uh, the there's chat stream nothing. were divided. Some did, but uh, two out of the three to start with was uh, Sugar Puffs. Oh, we, we have we have Mucky there, do we? <laughs> and you see why he was called Mucky. <laughs> well, I was three years um, old when I named him, to be fair. I didn't... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, a blast from the past. Um, well, actually, uh, Will is going ahead. Will, two points to one yes. because it was plain pasta. Uh, he would allow salt, but no sauces whatsoever. No sauces, just a little bit of salt. It's just plain pasta. <laughs> plain pasta. Cool. A bit of salt. It was cooked. Yeah, not a hard, pasta, crunchy salt. shell. <laughs> I still love That's that very these resourceful, days. yeah. I love that these days. I still love plain pasta and salt. I absolutely love it. I don't, a, I'll I, remember that next Christmas, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I prefer I, a no, no butter. Ooh, that was probably luxurious for me. <laughs> no, I, I, I was, obviously I prefer like having sauce on it and stuff, but at the time... Plain pasta. Plain pasta. <laughs> Yeah, and people laugh oh. at me for dunking biscuits <laughs> yeah, in hot water. I, I, was, I was, what, five? <laughs> His face would curl into curl. Uh, I don't know. Um, you could see the disgust in the back of his head when, when you would give him something else, you know, sort of the frown sort of cemented on his brow. <laughs> Angrily I remember, having, um, yeah. I remember once having, and hopefully this isn't in the quiz, having a tomato, like a cherry tomato, and just the action of putting it in my mouth made me get. <laughs> and I remember being like, I'm too old to do this. I remember like, I, I know that I should like. Ah, oh, so ridiculous. Plain <laughs> pasta. Everybody, if I ever come round to your house for some dinner, cooking some plain, plain pasta, pasta, spit of salt on there. Oh boy. <laughs> and, uh, and no, and no ch uh, cherry tomatoes. <laughs> okay, are we ready for question number four? Question number four. We're going over to Edward's Toys. Now, I would like to know which of the following three did he prefer? Did he prefer a Scalectrix racing set, B, a working model of the Ghostbusters headquarters, or C, the Flintstones Bedrock Village? Which did he prefer? A Scalectrix racing set, a working model of the Ghostbusters headquarters, or the Flintstones Bedrock Village? I have their answer. Again? That was quick. Not one. I'm going to keep it thema thematic here, and I'm going to go with C, the, the Flintstones Village. Why is that thematic? The Flintstones Village, Mucky. yes. Oh, the yeah. That's Chat Stream one. actually went for um, uh, the uh, Ghostbusters headquarter. And can I say here and now that, um, well, the Flintstones Village was one of my childhood toys. Oh. <coughs> it's interesting, yeah. actually. Um, uh, w N of the L. Uh, give me a second, and forgive me because the Twitch thing's going to pop up on the screen here. Uh, <laughs> it's gone. Um, but I'm going to do. Mm, I should have done this ahead of time, really. Now oh, you, you just let's just keep going. Pete, somebody's saying that they think that the the top three is limiting at the moment, like Commander Shiny says. But I think that it's uh, you've got to just you've got to take your time with your answer. Although it's kind of just random guesses at this point, isn't it? I was yeah. trying to think I could uh, set up a straw poll. To... Uh, I can do it very quickly, but you'll hear lots of frantic tapping. So you, let's just work out. Let's see if we can do this. So next question, please. Jack Little, yes, it was real Ghostbusters, yes. Ghostbusters. <clears throat> uh, certified. Um, oh, by the way, yes. Well done, uh, chat stream. You've now caught up with Will. You guessed correctly um, with, of course, the real Ghostbusters, yes. So, it's two points apiece. Time for question yeah. number five. So number five. Now, long car journeys always meant a game or two of I Spy. And Edward was rather predictable. No matter what the chosen letter was, he I always love this. I love this. the same thing. Yeah. Was it sausages, trees, or ice cream? No matter... <laughs> The chosen letter was, he'd always guess the same thing. Was it sausages, trees? I put a straw poll oh, in. Click in that straw poll. For this specific one, click in the straw poll, uh, and I'll, I will get the, uh, I'll get the answer for you if that's all right. Uh, certainly. <clears throat> okay, anybody clicking on the straw poll? We only have three votes in there. Come on. Click on that straw poll. I'll put the link in the straw poll. It might not work. Who knows? Oh, no, we're getting some votes in there now. This is good. Uh, uh, oh, gosh. Um, how do I refresh it? Because <laughs> it might not work. In fact, it might be a bit too much. 
All right, well, you're asking I'll me. just I'll just do this one, and then for we'll do it the standard way. We're gonna do the I standard have the way. Standard. I have the consensus standard way. If <laughs> if. Um... Well, I can tell you what the consensus is. Well, well, first of all, you your guess. I think it's gonna be. I think I'm gonna go with the C. Ice cream. C ice cream. Ice cream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. <laughs> and hopefully, um, I did too. What did what did what does the uh, uh, your your thingamajig well, well, say it is? Well, let's do. Uh, they went for A, which is sausages. Sausages. And of course, well, why don't we why don't we play a game of Ice Spy right now? Okay. Ice Spy. Ice Spy. My, my little eye. It's me, isn't it? No, you, you say the answer. No, no, you would guess this no matter uh, what. <laughs> <laughs> I spy with my little eye something that begins with the letter W. Sausages! Oh. <laughs> it was always sausages, yeah. Well, I, I like that. <laughs> All right, let's just go for the standard way of doing it from now on. We'll just put it into the chat, like always. Okay. And we'll uh, maybe okay. try to, because it's a bit more of a random question thing, try to see if you can work out based on the A, Bs, and Cs. It's more fair that way. Mm. For this, for this I... one specifically. I do as quickly as I can. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. yeah. They, they came into their own there. At first, they started slow. They they yeah. they, wa they were yeah. going for B. They exactly. were going for trees. <laughs> dark. Yeah. Says, Yay. It's fun to say. <laughs> like, I thought it was a cry for ice cream. It's, Every opportunity I just, for it. I remember, it's babe. My humor hasn't that, changed at all. <laughs> sausages. And you're like, what letter is it? And I'm like, and then eventually, I remember everyone in the car would just go, sausages together. <laughs> You do yeah. still say that word a lot. Sausages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, often talking about sausages, yeah. Oh, great. <clears throat> okay. Are uh, you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Question number six. I'd like to know, what did Edward do when his trousers fell down around his ankles in a beanbag race in beavers? Beavers, for did those he international ate? audiences is kind of like Cub Scouts, but it was the one that you joined very young. So I was about Cub five, Scouts before six, before Cubs, yeah, Beavers, Cubs, okay. Eagles, so, all that kind so of. So just to, just to describe again, my trousers <laughs> fell down around his ankles in a beanbag race uh, in Beavers. Okay, it, 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 it's Cub Scout type meat. Did he did a do? forfeit the race and quickly pull up his trousers? B carry on running, or C? Throw his beanbag at the leader who was laughing uncontrollably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a tough one, that one. That is a tough one. Okay, A, B, or C. Four for the race and pull up the trousers. B, carry on running. Or C, throw his beanbag at the leader who was laughing uncontrollably. <laughs> Don't just put down the one that you want it to be, by the way. You've got to put down the actual thing. That's the one that you think it is. <laughs> I have a vast majority here yeah. uh, for one particular letter, so I'll take that as their answer. Yeah. Almost I, like the straw poll. I, I think I've had an answer, and I've, I've based it on the fact that a similar thing happened to me. My shoe fell off, and as a child, me, maybe we were similar, and I just carried on running, so I'm going to go B and carry on running. Go B, carry on running. Yeah. There were a few Bs for the chat stream, but the vast majority said that uh, basically he... He threw his beanbag at the leader who was laughing uncontrollably. And I'm sure they were, but the answer was, yes, it was B. He carried on running. So I don't know how this happened. My trousers, you had to get these, like, sort of, there were these beige, everyone had to wear these, like, weird beige little outfit, but it was kind yeah. of like tracksuit bottoms, but not, but, like, very loose... Uh, Khaki. Yeah, and I had that. They were so loose, and I had to have a, like a belt tying them up, and the belt just went, must have gone. And I was running, it's just still running as fast as I could. And I didn't notice any difference, anything at all. And um, I <laughs> and everyone was laughing. Everyone in the field was <laughs> laughing at me, and I just remember being like. What? Like, why? Why is everyone, why is everyone laughing? Was it and difficult? I, and then I looked down and my trousers had fallen down. How did you run? Were they just round your ankles? They must have just been so baggy that, that I didn't notice just... the difference. Because... <laughs> I mean, Edward, Edward, you were competitive, but not very. I remember one race on a sports day at your school yeah. in which you, it was a sprint, and you were like 15 yards ahead of everybody else. And then you looked around and saw your friend. So you stopped and turned around and waited for him. Yeah. <laughs> I waited for him to catch up. Yeah. Yeah, because I wanted to. And grind him... him into the dust just before the finish line, make it an epic moment. No, I wanted everyone to, to have, be happy. 
Because oh. he was more upset if he lost. It's the same thing what I do with board games these days. I prefer that everybody <laughs> roundabout has just a nice time. If somebody else wins and they like winning, great. To me, as long it's as everyone's, just, had, everyone's had a good time. And like, and I just saw that he was really upset about losing, so I stopped waiting for him to catch up to me. I, I don't. Did I win in the end anyway? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I used remember. to win. I, just, I was I just amazed. Those little, the, you know. those, little, uh, those little sprints. <clears throat> well, things have changed now. Now I crush my enemies. Okay, next <laughs> next question. Uh, question number seven. Oh, can I? Uh, oh, only quick, halfway through. <laughs> after six questions, we're not. Yeah, we're oh, we're not, not even halfway through. Okay. But you're you're halfway through getting them correct, I suppose. It's three points apiece. Correct. Three points well going done. into question number seven. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Now, Edward's primary school reports had a space for the pupil to record his or her favorite subject. On Edward's first report, what did he put down as his favorite subject? Was it A, English, B, maths, or C, playtime? <laughs> right, cool. Was Edward's favorite so subject? This one, isn't it? Was it English, <laughs> maths, or playtime? Oh, God. <laughs> I I have their answer. And I, I, I have I have my answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I wonder what it is. It's playtime, surely. It it, it was playtime. Yeah, yeah. there is, of course. Sausages. <laughs> in, in my filing cabinet here, you can can you hear that? That's yeah. a filing cabinet. I actually have that, and, and it says playtime. Oh, you know, really? It's really, oh, That's yeah. really sweet. Um, playtime. It, it, it made me smile far more than some of his uh, later reports. Yeah. <laughs> playtime! Okay. Playtime is the best time, though. Look at us right now. We're doing playtime. Two correct answers. <clears throat> Four piece. I like this. Question <laughs> number eight. Number eight. Okay. Now, when he was 11 years old, Edward decided to not cut his fingernails. <laughs> Why? Was he... A, growing his own claws to be more lion-like. B, <laughs> Don't laugh. It's making me attempting laugh. to break the Guinness World Record for fingernail length. <laughs> or C, having seen fingernails for cash on an episode of Family Guy, <laughs> thought he could make some money. <laughs> he decided when he was 11 years old not to cut his fingernails. Was it A, growing his own claws to be more lion-like? B, attempting to break the Guinness World Record? Or C, make some money. I can't believe I did this. I can't <laughs> believe I actually did this at 11. Was I 11? Mm, yes. One idiot. That's <laughs> an tough absolute one. idiot. This was another one of those moments of becoming conscious of, um, of oneself. And, I, and, and I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that when I explain. What's your answer? <clears throat> My uh, my answer is A. Your answer is A. Um, that he was <clears throat> growing his own claws to be more lion-like. The consensus Well, they were pretty much split. B. The chat stream was split between A and B. Yeah. But in the end, because I, I did it your way and just kept on going, yeah, that, there, that, that the Bs did outweigh yeah. the As. So as far as they were concerned, um, basically, you were attempting to break the Guinness record for fingernail length. The answer is actually that, uh, well, you were a very early method actor. You were playing a lion in yeah. a midsummer night's dream. Dream. Yes. You were actually growing out your claws to be more lion-like. Right. So, <clears throat> to explain, it was it. Could you give us a little roar or a reenactment of the lion? Ah, <laughs> I can't even remember that role very well, but <clears throat> but I did. I remember talking to Miss Glaister. Miss Glaister who is now Mrs. Lewis, who my Hello. father married. And Miss Glaister, <laughs> at the time, a young, plucky upstart, just starting out in teaching in high school drama, told me to do it as a joke. She was like, oh yes, grow your nails, you look like a real lion. And, and so I went, <laughs> okay. And I did, and I did, and I, saw, and I, I even sh I showed her. Now, look, I've been growing my nails, nails like you said. And she just went, <laughs> What have I done? Yeah, it like started laughing and started going, oh, I was only joking, oh my god, that's so adorable, I was only joking, I was only joking. And I was just like... And it was one of those moments of self-realisation where you go, this world is not what it seems. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like you, go, you go, oh god, 
I'm making this transition into becoming a sentient human being. Do you know what I mean? And, uh, and you realise how much of a strange mindset you must have been in to, to think it was real, to do it, and not yeah. talk to anybody and say, is this a normal thing to do? Uh, whereas if, if someone did that to me, you'd go, no, that's mad. <laughs> right, anyway, day. Go on. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, I discovered sarcasm for the first <laughs> time. And you can see where, where my... my <laughs> My um, sense of humour has sort of developed, I suppose. Anyway, carry on. After you. After okay. You. <clears throat> Question number nine, then. Number nine. Uh, Why did Edward spend the first two years at Baines High School with more safety pins than buttons on his shirt? Why did Edward spend the first two years at Baines High School with more safety pins than buttons on his shirt? Was it, or was he, A, into a Marilyn Manson look... B, okay, where am I? I've lost my place. B, playing a lot of British Bulldog, mm -hmm. or C, did he just like wearing badges? Mm. Was he into a, a Marilyn Manson look, playing a lot of British Bulldog, or did he like wearing badges? <laughs> what do you think, Will? I, think I have that I believe it could be, well, this is a tough one, C. I'm going with C. You just You're going with badges. C. The chat stream also went with C, you know. Uh, you know it's sort hard of to a... do buttons up with long fingernails. <laughs> the actual answer uh, is not C, no. Oh, yeah. He went out with his friends every playtime and lunchtime and played oh. British Bulldog and literally would come back into the school <laughs> with his shirt in tatters, ripped. And would always come home every night covered in safety pins holding it together. And often bleeding. <laughs> oh my god. Well, his safety pins would accidentally it was open. It actually a game of British... We, we called it... Um, <clears throat> we called it... Uh, Red Letter, I think oh. we called it. Yeah. And it, not, not, not Nathaniel Hawthorne's no, Scarlet. No, 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 no. <laughs> and it was... It was, <laughs> it was a bit more sort of violent. I probably never told you about it. Um, but we used to have a thing where <laughs> we would each, we would make up a word between six of us. Six of us would get to the six v six, and one team of six. And don't play this at home. This one team of six would have a word, and we'd have a one letter each mm -hmm. of the word. And the other team had to literally catch us oh my God. and beat out the letter, beat the letter out of us to get the letter. And then they would have to formulate the word. And if by the end of lunchtime they formulated the word, then they would they would win. So we, so I was running away from people. I was so committed to it that I would just be like, in the lunch, <laughs> jumping onto tables and like sprinting along tables. I can remember some like really like Mission Impossible style James Bond. It was so good though. It was so much fun. We only did it about three times because it, it, it was quite violent. <laughs> It well, and, and shirts were very expensive as well. Yeah, it, uh, people were just, so they would grab for me because I was quite lithe. I was quite slippery. Yeah, they, I was quite slippery. And they oh, grabbed yeah. me and they'd just sort of pull my shirt and so the whole thing would come off. <laughs> so I'd <was> running, <laughs> sprinting through ah. like Tom Cruise with my shirt. Good job your trousers you. didn't fall down. <laughs> it was a good job that my trousers didn't fall down. Anyway, <laughs> we must, we must, we must. We must carry on. We must carry, we must on. carry on. Different yes. times, but there's. Although, there's like although I'm sure you do like wearing badges occasionally, yes. But I but but I know, probably, not really much of a badge wearer. Red letter, red yeah. letter. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Don't tell number. anybody about that. Don't. That's Blind not what we recommend figures. to do for children. No, 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 no. Okay. Right. On to question number ten. Double figures for you guys, but of course, Will on the chat stream, not so with your scores. Uh, you're still languishing on. I think. Oh, chat stream is one behind on four, behind Will's five. Question number ten. We're going to go back. Let's up a little bit because uh, you, 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 you know what he means. Uh, I've got. I've got something. At two. Uh, yeah. At two. Exactly. Well, at, no, five past two is fine. Okay. Fine. Oh, okay. Precise. <laughs> Precision is is important. Yeah. <laughs> Question number 10, back to Edward's thespian tendencies in high school. Okay, what role did he play in his high school production of Alice in Wonderland? Oh. Was it the White Rabbit, the Mad Hatter, or the Cheshire Cat? Hmm. Oh, I know the answer. The first two answers were Alice. <laughs> the no, well, role he exactly. wanted to play. I never went for the main role in anything, even when I was much younger. 
I have I have the consensus on the first ten or fifteen answers. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go with um, the Mad Hatter B. I think that was not. You're going to go with the Mad Hatter B. That wasn't an option. And uh, the chess stream have gone for C, the Cheshire true? Cat. And the role that you actually played, Edward, was. I'm late. I'm late uh. for a very important date. There's no time to say hello, goodbye. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. The White Rabbit. And I wore a full White Rabbit costume. And I think there's a DVD available of that. Please source that. <laughs> I wouldn't need that Please known. send it to me. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yes, and, and afterwards you made lots of other videos about uh, rabbit hunters and th all sorts of strange things wearing that, uh, that suit, didn't oh, you? Oh, I used that suit for so much stuff. Yeah, I, started, I don't know if there's any questions about little videos that I made. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, uh, I think we're okay on that. So I used to, yeah, I used to, used to use that suit quite often. Uh, we made one called Rabbit Hunters, where my two friends, it was like a sort of Matrix ripper. And I used to film it and edit it all. This was back in 2000 and, I was, well, 2000 and... I Something. Think, like mid, early 2000s. Uh, before, and you had to do the Firewire port and everything to set things up and yeah, you yeah, couldn't yeah. just use it on your phone. And you starred in one and you were wearing a very similar outfit to that. But then the camera panned out and you were just in your boxer shorts doing the ironing. <laughs> And so it's this whole like really important yep. speech, and he would be like, "Edward, I need you to do this, this, and this, and this, and this." Rabbit hunters, thank you for joining the rabbit hunters. And then it, it slowly it goes, "Now go away." And then it goes, and then it starts to zoom out, and he goes, <laughs> and he's just he's just doing the ironing, and he's just in his boxer shorts. <laughs> <laughs> it's very really good. Anyway, next question. Do you, do, you, do you remember who played the Cheshire Cat? Sarah Millington? No, Sarah Millington was the uh, was Alice. Was it you? You played the Cheshire Cat. I played the of Cheshire Cat. Of course he did. Look at that little Cheshire Cat grin. Mm -hmm. All right, next question. Yeah, that's okay. On to question number, oh, this is question number 11. Okay, now, when Edward was a teenager mm -hmm. and his room was being redecorated, how did Edward personalize the paintwork within hours of it being finished? Okay, was it A, squirting ketchup from a squeezy bottle, B, Spray painting his tag over his bed, scratching the walls with his emo studded belt. <laughs> All of those are bad, aren't they? Not one of those is good. A, B, or C, ladies and gentlemen. A. Personalizing his room, yes. A, B, or C. Will, what are you thinking? What's your, uh, what's your, what are you, what's your, your thought process? Um, you're not that wasteful, so I'm. Really I have their answer. Yes. Okay, so. And I was like 15 or whatever. So. Yeah, but I think that might have been something that stayed. Maybe you had an emo phase. Um, I don't know. I've never seen a tag from you, so I'm going to go with C. Uh, scratching the wall with your emo belt. C. Now the vast majority um, uh, of the chat stream have also gone with D. Why am I uh, so predictable? There was one A. There was one A, though. So someone did think it was a squeezy bottle. <laughs> you, I had a cousin, so that would make... Well, I don't know the relation to you, but he was once put in jail for sitting in a cafe and, and deciding to see if he could hit the ceiling by squeezing the, the ketchup. And he did, and sadly spent the night in jail. Uh, <laughs> wow. But that wasn't you. You're <laughs> right. Chat streams, right, Will? It, it was C, yes. It was my emo it, phase. Emo he had phase. a nice studded belt, yeah. And people yeah. can't imagine me being an emo. Unfortunately, I don't think I have like a, a, a picture that I can get up quickly enough. Both had them. To move on. Both had them. But, um, yeah, I was indeed. I had the fringe, <laughs> and I dyed my hair petrol blue. And, yeah. Mm. All right, next question. And you've just killed a question I'm going to be asking later, but oh, that's okay. Did I really? I'm so sorry. And that's okay. you even sent them to me to check them. <laughs> I did read through them as well, but I have a very short memory. <clears throat> okay. That was another. Be grateful for a correct answer. Okay. Here we go. Now, question number 14. Um, sorry, 13. Why was Ed late for his first day at work on his first ever part time job? Was he. A, worried about what to wear, B, did he oversleep, or C, did he get hit by a car? Worried about what to wear, overslept, got hit by a car. Late for work on his very first day. Mm. Okay. Okay. 
I think I have enough to, yeah, yep. see consensus here. I'm going to go with A. He was worried about what he had to wear. <laughs> Thanks, Will. <laughs> I, that, that could have been a factor in, in, the, in the fact that he was running across a road oh. to get into a car opposite and was hit by a car <laughs> right out in front of the... You were, you were clipped, nothing... Nope. Wasn't a, knocked a big into me in forward. Wow. I bounced off the front of the of the bumper. I can remember flying through the air like what? And I remember going, "Oh, this will be a cool story to tell my friends." So, like, literally, that was the thought was in my head. Oh, this is gonna be a cool story. And then I and I slid along the floor, scratched all down my leg, <clears throat> popped back up and went, ran over to the woman, knocked on the door of the woman of the window like that. I was going, and she was just there like she was like this, just terrified, clutching the wheel. Like, and she opens sort of <laughs> rolls down the window. <laughs> And I was like, I'm okay, I'm okay. She's like screaming that in her face. And she just looks forward and starts crying. <laughs> and I was like hugging her, being like, well, I'm okay, I'm, I'm okay. And then the ambulance came and were like, are you all right? I was like, yeah, I don't know, I'm fine. And then I went to work. <laughs> and I was working A&M Bargains, I hope this is not a question, uh, as, a, as, a, as a shelf stacker. And they said to me, shouldn't you be at a hospital? And I was like, nah. And then you... Uh, I was rubbish at that job. <laughs> Maybe it was just the accident. Nope. <laughs> it was because I was lazy. <laughs> I had no interest in it, so I just couldn't do it. All right, next question. Okay. Uh, can I say that, uh, well, yes. Well done, uh, chatters, you've caught back up with Will, okay? Oh, nice. Uh, you got it absolutely correct. You <laughs> said uh, yeah, you liked bouncing off cars. Wasn't okay. Brenda <laughs> running me over <laughs> to, to try to sabotage me in later life? No. Question number 13. Uh, <laughs> 14. Now, to my recollection, Edward was only stopped by the police once in high school. Was it for A, underage drinking on the street? I can't B, believe you're going to say this. Sneaking into an abandoned hospital? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or C, setting off fireworks in a car park? <laughs> Can I have my answer? Uh... <laughs> what was the question? Can you be very specific with the question? Uh, so I, I can be very specific with the question, but I'll lose track of my... Hang on oh, one yeah, second. Yeah. This I, is quite I, a one. My eyes, you know, Roy Orbison had, had difficulties <laughs> with eyes and could look in two different directions. Um, I can't. Okay, I think I've got the, the tendency for their answers. Okay, um, basically, was it A... Real. Underage drinking in the street. I'm kind of ashamed of this one. Sneaking into an abandoned hospital. Yeah. C, setting off fireworks in a car park. I think it's C. You're ashamed. Just because of a laugh. C. Setting off fireworks in a car park. The, the, the chat stream, we're slightly divided, but, but the majority thought he was sneaking into an abandoned I, hospital. I love, I love Ushiny's, I love Ushiny's answer. All three of them, underage drinking in an abandoned hospital car park while setting up fireworks. <laughs> can, I, can I say, Will, that um, yeah. he, he had sneaked into an abandoned hospital, I know this, mm -hmm. but he wasn't stopped by the police that time. Okay. <laughs> Not that crime. It would be a shame, uh, I think. Of that. And uh, he was setting off fireworks in a car park, that's when I met up with the police when I was younger. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, did Back do that. I did do that one too, though. Yeah. But did under a drinking on the street. Oh, yes. On Sifter's 18th birthday, he and a friend decided to stroll along the street with beers. And when the police stopped him, he actually argued with the police. He <laughs> so, oh, that's perfectly. Because to be clear, <laughs> we, were, we were literally standing outside of where my sister's 18th birthday party was going on. And we had great. one beer and we were 15. How old? 15. Me and my friend Tom Whitaker, we just stepped outside for a few seconds. I can't remember why. We just stepped outside for a few seconds. We, we'd had one, I think we'd had one beer, and this was like the bottom of the beer. And then the police turned up, and I was like, hold on, this is an injustice. I will like, fight for this. Yeah. And then you came out, and you were like, oh, and you were having a word with them. Well, I got you back in without a caution, yes. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you weren't oh, cautioned. Yeah. I thought we were. And you never no. told me, because you said, I remember you, the letter turned up in the house once and you hid it away from me. And you said, oh, it's from the police. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. They, okay, did, they yeah. did the same thing to me when, when I was doing the fireworks and the police, when they got a hold of us and they took us back uh, home in the car, they said, now, tell your parents exactly what happened because we'll be phoning them in the morning. Mm. Of course they didn't. So we stayed up and told our parents and, you know, got in all sorts of trouble. <laughs> 
At least they didn't care. No, yeah. exactly. Smart. I was just fighting, exactly, Commander asked to us, fighting for the right to party. <laughs> also, that isn't the only time that I've been taken home by the police in my teens, but you don't know about the other one, so let's move on. <laughs> well, listen, you, 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 can, you can enlighten me on that later, yeah. Hey. So. <clears throat> okay, yeah, yeah, there's probably a lot I don't know about you. You're right, it would have been a very different quiz had you written it, I'm sure. <laughs> no, and I, no. I could Quizzed probably and not recognized you. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not true. I, I, I was actually quite good. Oh no, I I, I know you were, but yeah, uh, every, has their, everyone has their secrets. This okay, is, cool. this, is, this is quiz by the way is not really totally indicative of what I was like. These are kind of we've attempted events. to be humorous. Yeah, sure. yeah. Brought, you brought know, entertain. Yeah. You know, highlight. Uh, yeah, little little foibles. The thing about like the growing of my fingernails, that's kind of a bit what I was like, <laughs> and the emo fringe and the emo studded belt. But like, I didn't get in trouble with the police lots and stuff like that. But you know, everyone has a life. Anyway, next question, please. Question number fifteen, penultimate <laughs> in today's quiz. Edward's first band, was it called the Nightlife Crisis, Shotgun Highway? Or Segway. Edward's first band: A, the Nightlife Crisis; B, Shotgun Highway; really? or C, Segway. Sure? We've spoken about it. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm interested to see what the chat say here. But <coughs> I have their answer. The answer, very confidently here, I say, is A, the Nightlife Crisis. Okay, Edward. Uh, what did they go for? Wilson's the nightlife crisis. The chat stream have gone for Segway, uh, which name. is a wonderful way to sort of meander off onto another subject or whatever, uh -huh. or the edge of a cliff. Uh -huh. um, but the actual answer was Shotgun Highway. Tell us. No. Was. Okay, well, the first band that was good that I was in was the Night of Crisis. Oh. The first band that I was in. The first band that I started off was was Shotgun Highway. Wow. And we did rock and roll covers. We did Living on a Prayer. We did Paradise City. We did um, Queen's One Vision. We had a great lineup. One Vision. That's the one I was thinking of the the other one. Thought not that was crisis. your first band, yeah. Yeah, not my first. The first one to actually do any like decent gigs and stuff. Next question. What did they get? Well, it, it, I'm gonna say Segway. they they also missed out. Uh, as far as they were concerned, it was uh, yes. Yeah, Shotgun so Highway is a terrible name. Don't Shotgun, don't try to don't Shotgun try to Highway. Shotgun Highway. Sound like an emo animal or anything. Shotgun, no, Shotgun Shotgun Highway on your hogs. <laughs> it's very sort of rock and roll. It's awful. I hate. Also, I hated it. <laughs> I hated the band. I, I just did it because I was 15 and thought I was going to be famous. All right. Next. Next question. Infamous, I think, is the word. Infamous. Oh, yes. Yeah. And the next question, as I say, style is important. And when Edward played bass, he carefully considered his hair. <laughs> did he affect a Brian May style perm, grow a long, edgy fringe that required straighteners? <laughs> Or shave his head to a number one and get suspended yeah. from school. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Style is important. <laughs> Everyone knows. Go on. Say the name. Say the name. Say the name. Was it a Brian May style perm, a long edgy fringe that required straighteners, or a shaven head that got him suspended from school? Will? You were inspired by Queen. Can you imagine me with a Brian But I can't, style so I'm going with the emo e fringe, the B. Was it B? <laughs> it, it was B. it was most fantastically B, yeah. yes. He had, uh, and and he had his own straighteners and he's you know, and it was all uh, <laughs> we do have pictures. I can't I can't find them right now, but we do have pictures, Edward, if they you exist. don't. Yeah, I've got some. Um they're they're quite good. <laughs> All right. The chat stream, chat stream agree. It was definitely B. Okay. Uh, is there, how many more questions you got? <clears throat> Shit. We it. have a fantastic draw. You were absolutely correct at the start. It was a tie. Seven points apiece. Wow, that's... Everybody wins. Or loses. Well done. There you go. Well, yeah, that was good. Ed too cheery to be bassist. Well, I moved on from being a bassist. <laughs> it, was, it was during my emo phase. That's why I was. That's why. I, so it was during the sadness. Well done, everybody. There, we finally did it. Ed's. Ed's sort of. Yeah. There. So, quick book. Book, book. I have a book here that someone got me for Christmas. It's called uh, American Sonnets 
for my past and future assassin. That was me. I got you that. Oh. I know. I know. And and I and I, I want to use it as a as a as an advert for poetry. Oh. Uh, it is. They're all sonnets in that they share fourteen lines. But it's it's not um, not Italian out of a rima. It's not um, iambic pentameter of of, of Shakespeare. Um, a B A B C D C D E F E F G G and all that. Uh, they're rather freeform, but they're good. And well, lightning never strikes in the same place too often. Um, but so if you find maybe ten or fifteen poems in an entire book that you really enjoy, that makes it worthwhile. Yeah, Go read some absolutely. poetry. Yeah. Definitely good shout. I completely agree. Right, next <clears throat> next time we do a quiz, what put some topics down in the chat. Uh, Will and I, we have to do a biscuit review. Have you got five minutes? I've got five minutes. I'm gonna, got, I'm, got, hey, look, I'm also your lead, so. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing, Will? Well, well, <laughs> my lead said it was okay for us to do a biscuit review, but we'll keep it really short and snappy. We'll be back in two minutes. Um, or you can stay here and talk with people. Um, and yeah, I, I need to just grab a drink myself. Well, I'm going to get you one. What is it that you Could want? Could you bring me a mug of hot water? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to. Just some water, water as well. As well yeah. I'm, I'm very parched. <laughs> okay. Right. Goodbye, all. Well, no, no, oh. hold on. Yeah. Oh, am I? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh. Bye, WNL. I'll, Bye. Call, I'll call you tomorrow. Oh, sounds You've good. You've been amazing. Eh? Everybody, please put so much love in the chat for uh, WNL. Please, 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 please. Bye, to me okay. now. Bye. Thank you. Bye. So much love in the chat. Uh, what am I doing here now? You are going to make the drinks. I'm going to keep these guys entertained. Um, oh, I'm going to switch quick. Oh, I'm going to Right, right, right. I'll go and get other. Oh, yeah. Oh. So, what I realize in today's stream is that me and Ed had a very similar childhood. Um, we both were um, unfortunate to lose a piece of clothing while racing um, and carried on running. Um, and we both had emo fringes. Uh, I didn't get in trouble with the police as much as Ed by the sounds of it. Um, so yeah, that's what I've learned. That's what I've learned, everybody. About, I've learned that both hit by cars. I don't think I was ever hit by a car. I was too afraid to to go into areas of danger. Will emo fringe, I had a big emo fringe for, and, I, and that lasted till I was near 18. Um, so that was from about 15 to, to 18, three years. Both enjoyed video games, still do enjoy video games, yeah. I, it wasn't so much that I was a saint, it was more that I lived in the countryside, so it was harder for me to get in trouble because no one really knew about it. Got, got in trouble for prank calling, um, mostly because I scared the person um, who I prank called as a child. Uh, I think they thought I was distressed. So there you go. Both born at the very start of their lives. Exactly, Jack Little, that is exactly a um, uh, similarity between me and Mr. Lewis. We're carbon-based. I'm not, I'm, ammonia, I'm, a, I'm an ammonia-based life form, in fact. Um, nice commander who's shiny, but I'm not going to answer it. Should have gone goth. Well, I, well, the thing is, goth was sort of, in my early, in my early emo days, that's when goth was still prevalent, and that kind of gave way to the emo craze. So, emo was more, more of a thing back then. Uh, goth had just, goth had just died. What's happening? Why, thank you. Oh, Why that's you cold. Yeah, you want it cold too, didn't you? Cold water? It's, it's got to be cold. hot water. We're going to share the dip. Don't oh, we're going to share the dip. Share the okay. The dip. <laughs> Did you just call it the dip? The dip. I, you, I want a mug of warm water, please. No, no, this is perfect, Ed. That's what I thought you were giving it to me to no, dip no, the no, biscuit no. in. How's everyone doing? Uh, small village, um, what? Edelweiss, and then moved to the, the proper country in the middle of nowhere when I was younger. <laughs> just talking about me. Why? <laughs> Great. Uh, I was saying how we're actually quite similar uh, when we were younger. <gasps> Look, you've got it right at the very top. I've got the Papa Tumas Bomb Skit Homely by Sony. We've got all these biscuits. Look at all these beautiful, beautiful biscuits. I'm really hoping that we haven't done these before. Let's, let's just double check it quickly. You have done uh, the brand before, haven't you? Yeah. 
Why is he not finding that? Oh, there we go, sorry. That's okay. No. That's it? No. Oh. Not. No, you good? Nope. Great times. All right. Today, because it's a special day, no, four and then the salted caramel biscuits for extraordinary tea times. So that's a salted caramel. Salted caramel biscuits. Sweet. No points for packaging, ladies nice and gentlemen. Nice little tin, though. But if there was, oh my gosh, wouldn't that do well? The tin you can use at home. Oh, sorry. The tin you can use afterwards, yeah. They have been opened previously by somebody. Um, <laughs> suspicious. Mm. Uh, but let's find out. These sounds great. These are going to be good. Of course, as you know, appearance, taste, texture, durability, dunkability, post dunk taste, satisfaction, moistness, and then a total. We yeah. are going to not rush through, but we're going to, you know, at pace so then people don't shout at us for being late for anything. Yeah. Are you actually going to be okay? Yeah, yeah, I've just got a, a little recording to do, but it's fun. It's, it's okay. going to be all right. Uh, what are they called? They're called the Fortnum. Some... A biscuit review should never be rushed. It shouldn't. Fortnum and Mason. Salted caramel biscuits. That's it, isn't it? Mm. Simple name. Appearance. Um, has the essence of a, sort of a homemade cookie, but clearly produced in a factory. Right. Do you clearly think mass they produced. Are? Clearly mass produced. Really, but in they some have the degree. Of, but like they, they're all kind of like look, yeah, they they even on the edges. It's it but it, for me look, it feels see like if you can it's give me look, do you hold it up so it looks like it's my ears. Oh. It's it's why am I looking do, at the screen it? like that? <laughs> it doesn't work. Um <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> it looks good. I think it looks kind of good, but like you say very standard looking, but the the, the little salted caramelly bits in there. Yes, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's endearing. attractive, it, but it does feel like it's. I'm still um, going to say seven at least. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. Seven. Yeah. Taste arguably the most important part of the biscuit review. Let's go. I'm waiting for anything, really. It's okay. It's not overpowering. <laughs> it's not an overpowering taste, is it? I'm gonna have another bite. It's good. I think it's a welcome. It's not too salty. Mm -hmm. But mm. there is, there is. <clears throat> there's a good amount of salt in there. Mm. Like leave that salt residue it. on your lips, and you're like, mm. I feel thirsty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's nice though, isn't it? It is nice. It is nice, yeah. The aftertaste is really good. That's the strongest bit, I think. The Very caramelly. The aftertaste of the salt and the butter. There's nice butteriness about the about the biscuit on the first bite. Mm -hmm. it's, you can taste the butter. I'm, I'm going to put that at a seven. Yeah. Happy. Happy, happy, happy. Texture. A good, good crisp bite to it. Yeah, you crunched on that. your side. Crunched on my side too, but I just was a bit delicate with it. Good. Mm. It feels satisfying to hear that crunch. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give that an eight. Mm -hmm. We're showing grieving today. Mm. Mm. Usually you come in on here sabotaging things. Well, I clearly like them because I've just finished it. Okay. Mm. Mine crumbled quite a bit, but what about you? I was just careful with the bite. I was careful with the bite, but I can do it on this table, this lovely table. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. We're looking at seven. Yeah. Point six. Dunkability. How, what's the rules for this? Just hold it. Can I do it with this bit? Yeah. One, two, three, and reveal. Oh dear. Oops. Making a horrible mess. And one, two, three, and reveal. Best friends dunk together. I think we'd go for a triple. One, it's like an eight. Two. Three. It's not. It's, it's not maintaining even, form. It's maintaining shape. I think nine. Nine. Okay, let's go for a taste. Mmm. I think less than to taste. Mmm. Oh, you can taste the salt more. Mmm. You're too salty. Mmm. It dunks very well, though. It dunks well, but like, I don't think it tastes very well. The texture is great. Good. 
The taste, the texture is great. You mm. think you don't like the taste? I don't think taste, and it's post and taste, not texture. So I'm really, I'm really getting into these. I would go, I would go four on that one. Four. Yeah. No, no, no. It doesn't improve the biscuit. It improved the biscuit for me. Well, that's me and the middle ground. Six, six. Throw science to the wind. Yep. At home, eating that biscuit, satisfied. Going to go for an eight. I would, and I'd have another one. Yeah, I'm, I'm already feeling it. Maybe mm -hmm. it's the salt. Mm, so good. So Moorishness. Could go for another one. Nine. It's going to be a very high performing biscuit. Who deserves it? No. Mm. Yeah. Because I don't. I think if you add another one, would you want to actually have I've another one after that? I've just eaten two very quickly. Mm, would on. you still want another one? Yeah. 60.9 everybody. 60.9 does not okay. put it in the top. Um, Unfortunately, whoa, you're looking at the 64s for the bit at the top. Um, okay, let's have a look where. Oh, that just happened. Don't just forgive me, alright? Just stop it. Stop being annoyed with me for doing that. Did I just mess that up? Yeah. You've done it by. I know. <sighs> Is it not in here? No. It, it usually just works when I do that, and I know I press that. There you go. 60.9 puts it in at 50th place. A very strong biscuit, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very good. Excellent stuff. Right, Will and I both have to get I've away and do some Yeah, I've got a work. rush, I'm so sorry. Um, but thank you for having me on, Ed. Do you want to take that, take that off? Yeah. And I'll just carry on yeah, you do chatting your thing. away. Um, thank you, everybody. I hope you also enjoyed uh, the earlier stream as well. I saw that you did. Yeah. Um, words, oh, he's got he's had enough. That chair is breaking off. Oh, did you just break it? No, I think it's fine. It's breaking all sorts of uh, rules. Um, smashing the place to pieces. Um, but hey, here we go. I'm back in, in here again. I have to say um, goodbye to everybody, as per usual, on the Friday. So goodbye, everybody. I will see you next week. Can I just say that all of the best ones have been here? Um, I adore you all. Uh, massively. And thank you for keeping up. It's been, it was a really fun stream. Have a really, really lovely weekend. And we'll see you next week. Thank you so much to a grumpy ghost. Another T T V viewer. Baldy Wookie. Thank you, Bitstorm. Thank you, Bush Ranger Score. Thank you, Commander Score Mackay. Thank you, Commander Underscore NSR2. Thank you, Commander Underscore Ushari. Thank you, Commander Underscore Tovar. Thank you, Commander Underscore Wotherspoon. Thank you, Commander Red and Alt Meter. Thank you, Commander Root. Commander. Oh, sorry, just Dirgil. Thank you, Edelweiss. Evil Blue Shell. Factabulous. Fibble 666. Fragged B. Frontier Developments. Ooh, who are you? Cax Kango. Or Cax Kang Zero. Groovy Monica. Gwyn Blez. Thank you, Gwyn Blez. Blitz. Um, thank you so much, Horny. Thank you so much, Host underscore Giveaway. Hmm, not sure about that. Thank you, Jack Little. John Bellow. Just underscore D. Juts. Mopsy. Mace DK. Multi71. Thank you for this week, Mem Curtains. Thank you for this week, Millstone Barn. Thank you for this week, Mo Was. Thank you, Null underscore Hypothesis. Polize underscore. Positive, top of positivity bot. The Panda Trap underscore Phoenix underscore D Fire. Plumola underscore NL. Revian. Whoop. Uh, oh, crumbs. So, uh, Calder, Silky Nerd, Skinny Seahorse, Skynet81. <gasps> they finally found us. Uh, slow, cool, uh, something 30, Spartan underscore Jack underscore 17, Spec Unit, Stephen Carey, Stuart GD, hey Stuart, Tato Chip, hey the Dr. Terminus, hello the Honey Thief, hello Toby, 14,601, thank you, V underscore and underscore K, thank you, Fagopros, thank you, whoever 11, Wicked Willy, and thank you. Last, but of course not least, Jad Nost. You are fantastic. Should we have a look now and see who's on Twitch playing some Elite Dangerous? And let's go send people some love. Uh, I mean, people are probably already watching Hello It's Colo right now, right? You're already there, but let's do it anyway. Uh, is scroll up. I don't have permission to pull that action because I'm on the wrong account. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm gonna log out. 
Uh, log in. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I am not a robot. I've got to get my, my security token. <sighs> Give me a sec. My phone's on site, so of course, on um, that thing where you can't message people. Oh, come on, do it again. Request SMS, here we go. Stay with me, stick with me. One, one, two, one. Right. Then do wait, I'm still I'm still alive. Oh, there's only forty three people in. Stick just cut my knee, come with me, hold on. <laughs> There's an authorization code, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, well, I can't do it. Don't worry about it. Go over and watch them. It's just not letting me do it because I'm logged into the wrong thing apparently. Unless I reach free. Oh hold on. No, it is going to do it. There you go. Jump on. It's only going to be a few peeps, but go and say hello. Cheers. You're all the best. Goodbye.